In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can configure a simple eBay Inspector expert module in a quick way to calculate some frequency dependent values from an acceleration sensor. We start by opening the I.O. manager. You will only see the eBay Inspector entry if you have a valid eBay Inspector license on your dongle. Here we can add a new module. In this tutorial, we want to have an Inspector expert module. Here we can give it a name. With clicking OK, we came to the general settings of the EBA Inspector Expert module. The basic settings are equal to the basic settings of most other PDA modules. Please notice that you can use a higher value for the time base, because this is the time base for the band results that depends on your FFT update time. The calculation part will show you the resulting FFT parameters that are depending on the input signal sampling rate and the settings in the profile. The most important settings for the FFT calculation are made in the profile. But this will be part of an extra tutorial. For this tutorial, we already have a pre-configured profile that we can select here and use for our module. In the newer versions of EBA PDA, you can find some pre-configured profiles. In the line below, you have to select the input signal. In this case, we use a signal from an acceleration sensor. The speed signal is optional and is only required for some profiles. Snapshots are a special topic that we explain in an additional tutorial. Now that we have selected a profile and an input signal, we can see what maximum frequency we can calculate, what frequency resolution we have and what our update time is. If we now go to the analog signals, we can see what bands are configured in our profile and which values we will get as a result. In our case, we have three bands at 100 Hz, 200 Hz and 300 Hz, calculating the peak value, the peak frequency and the RMS. Now all necessary configurations are made and we can apply our settings by clicking OK or Apply. With OK, the I.O. manager will be closed automatically. If your settings are valid, you can see our Inspector module in the signal tree. If we open the module, we can see the values calculated for the bands. As an example, we can open the 200 Hz RMS value. To see the calculated FFTs, you have to open a new FFT view. Just drag the whole module into the FFT view and drop it inside. You will automatically see the result in the waterfall view. The settings for the FFT view are explained in another tutorial.